Are cannabinoids contributing to an early death for cancer patients? Experts are urging caution following research that suggests inhaled cannabis may be detrimental to patients on immunotherapy. Let's talk to Brian Beatty, a specialist GP from Porirua and chair of GP New Zealand. Brian, really great to have, us, uh, have you with us this morning. What does this study tell us about the use of cannabis for cancer immunotherapy? You look, Michael, it's a, a really important study, I think. It, um, you want, one of the things we need to understand about cannabis is that we have very little quality research on its effects, where it could be used or where it may actually be unsafe. So this study sort of suggests with some of the immunotherapy that is used for certain cancers, lung cancer in particular, renal cancer, there may be an interaction that actually leads to a poorer outcome. And so this is really, really important stuff because they, this research is, is very, very important to pick up on to understand where cannabis, medicinal cannabis should be used and where it shouldn't be used and what its potential problems are. So um, yeah, it sort of takes us a step forward in certain, certainly understanding where cannabis should be used. Okay, Brian, so this study focuses on um, inhaled forms of cannabis, sort of urging caution um, around that, but do we know if other forms are safer? Look, um, I, I think the key point, Michael, is there is very, very little quality data on the safety or the use or the long-term benefit of cannabis. It's, it's, it's medicinal cannabis. So it's one of the problems we do have that we don't quite know where it should be used or how it should be used. Now, that's not to say that, that medicinal cannabis isn't useful, and it certainly is useful to certain patients, but we don't have quality data on where it should be used. There is some data for certain forms of epilepsy. There is some data for, for certain forms of multiple sclerosis, but the rest of the studies are very, very poor quality. And it's certainly one of the issues that many of the medical profession has raised about the use of medicinal cannabis and the widespread use of it. So this study probably tells us, look, we do have to be start slightly cautious in its use and where it is used because we don't understand the potential interactions or side effects that could occur. Yeah, understood. Um, so, Brian, I mean, just speaking in general, how often are cancer patients seeking medicinal cannabis while undergoing any sort of treatment? Because you kind of hear out there that, you know, it is quite useful. It's a very effective uh, pain reliever. Y y is this happening more commonly, that you have patients saying, look, I'd like to give this a crack? Oh, look, look, absolutely. Um, we, we're seeing it quite frequently now in the clinic that people are asking for medicinal cannabis for a range of conditions from pain through to uh, mental health conditions through to, to, to things like cancer or palliative care. And it has been used in those, those spaces. And look, I, I have to be honest that for certain people it works very, very well and it's very effective. But I do have these concerns over the overuse of medicinal cannabis or perhaps how it's been promoted by the cannabis companies and some of the cannabis clinics. And, 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 and do you caution your patients about that, Brian? Do you caution your patients about that when they come in and, and say, look, I want to have, have a go at this? You, you, would, you would urge caution in general and say, look, I don't know if we should go down this path. Is that what you're oh. telling your patients? I, I have a very honest, open conversation with them about the fact there is no long-term data about either the long-term safety or interactions with certain medications or where it should be used. Um, at the end of the day, I often find that the, it's the patient who makes the decision. Now, as long as it's an informed decision and they're aware of the potential risk with doing this, then, you know, in certain circumstances, we will I will prescribe it. But... Um, I, I, I am concerned nationally there probably is an overuse of medicinal cannabis, certainly with the explosion of cannabis clinics, online cannabis clinics that are, that are prescribing medicinal cannabis, especially with this paucity of long-term data in terms of either safety or effectiveness or where it, in fact, it is effective.